So now we enter the next phase of the Beach Boys story where we have these California boys who all of a sudden decide to leave California, go halfway around the world to Holland to record their next album. And a lot more happens after that. You ready? Let's drop the needle. In 1972, seeking creative inspiration, the band and their families all moved to Holland where they would record their next album in a barn. And it is my second favorite Beach Boy album. It's called Holland. All the tracks are first rate, from the stunning lead off of Sail on Sailor. And then there are a whole bunch of songs that are really great, but weird that they wrote these and recorded these in Holland. I think they were being homesick, because they're all about California. The songs are California Saga Big Sur, California Saga, The Beaks of Eagles, and California Saga, California. And that's all on side one. Side two has the tremendous The Traitor, Leaving This Town, and Only With You. The original pressing included an EP called Mount Vernon and the Fairway, written by Brian Wilson as a children's fantasy. It's a great album, and the band continues to tour, but Brian, staying at home, falls further and further into the void. He goes up and just lives in his bedroom where he drinks heavily, smokes a lot, takes a lot of drugs, and gains a lot of weight. But the band is still out touring, and in 1974, Rolling Stone calls the Beach Boys the band of the year based on their live performances. In 1975, Brian starts working with a doctor of questionable repute Eugene Landy, who takes over Brian's mental health concerns on a 24-7 basis. He will not let Brian do anything without his consent. He tells Brian when to get up. He tells Brian what to eat. He tells Brian who to talk to. And when they start recording their next album, which is called 15 Big Ones, which the band and Landy insist that Brian be involved in, Eugene Landy is in the studio putting his creative input in front of Brian's, which of course causes tension with the band. Nonetheless, 15 Big Ones comes out, and Brian goes on tour with the band, and the label does a big thing, publicity campaign about Brian's back. And after all the stuff he'd been through, everybody was anxious to see him. But you look at any of those live shows at that time, Brian is extremely overweight, and on stage he's disoriented, barely playing the piano, and very often not singing, just staring off into space. Fifteen Big Ones is a mix of covers and oldies and some new songs. There is their hit, the cover of rock and roll music, and I like Had to Phone Ya, that same song, Paradise Park, and Susie Cincinnati. Despite mixed reviews, it sold well. Two years later in 1977, Brian Wilson is feeling better and decides to take full creative control in the studio. So he goes in and he starts writing songs, arranging them, producing them, and recording them for what he considers is going to be his solo album. And the album was going to be called Brian Wilson Loves You. But when the album came out, it was called The Beach Boys Love You. It's an interesting album, and the songs are all over the place. There's the lead-off, Let Us Go On This Way, Roller Skating Child, Johnny Carson, and then there's the great Al Jardine honking down the highway, Let's Put Our Hearts Together, written by Brian and his wife Marilyn, and even a song Brian wrote but you remember, he hated flying, and that is called Airplane. Brian was convinced he was on a roll, so he was going to record this next album as a solo album. And so he did, and it's called Adult Child. But it has never been released because Al Jardine and Mike Love hated it, and they prevented it from being released. So Brian Wilson has the distinction of having two albums that he recorded, Smile, an adult child, that were never released. Brian sure had his problems getting the music that he heard in his head 
through the band and out to us. In the next episode, we're going to look at the infighting that almost tore the band apart and the surprise release of the music from Smile. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you've enjoyed the story of the Beach Boys. There's more to come. Now, as usual, there is a playlist on Spotify for this episode, and here's the link. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep a rockin'. If you like this episode, hit the like button, and you can also leave me a comment down below and I'll respond to you. If you subscribe, we'll let you know when future episodes come out.